what it means to, to win today. It was and man, everything, you know, this is a pivotal game for us. And we just wanted to close the game and get it over with. It was ugly, it was an ugly finish. We had an 11-point lead and then we let it slip away. So uh, it was it was just good and I was confident enough to so just knock down the free throws and close it out. Alice, to have that kind of game um, on that stage against UCLA against a big brother, uh, to do what you did when we were struggling, can you kind of you know, you got to pick each other up. When, when guys aren't playing their best, you just pick each other up. And, and that's what we did tonight. We, st uh, we stuck with it and we kept making plays, the right plays at the end. And uh, the big stage is, is nothing I'm shy of. You know, I, I embrace it and I just go out there and do my thing. And, and I, my teammates do their thing. So I just help my teammates out and they help me out. We got the W. Amy, during that, uh, with like 14 seconds, something you took that charge. What was kind of going through my mind? Do you think you're going to charge the entire time? Oh man, it was just I just reacted. I was ran back on defense, and um, you know, I just I think I I think my man helped out or something. I just rotated across and just um, you know that's that's the stuff that uh you know our coaches preach, and that's that's kind of our team's big on toughness plays like that. So uh, you know, I I don't know what was going through my head. I just reacted and just um, you know, luckily luckily uh the call went our way, and yeah, it turned out to be a pretty big play, I suppose. Over 500 at this point, the first time in a long time this late season. What does that mean to this team, confidence-wise, moving forward? Uh, it's it's huge, you know. Um, we haven't been 500 above 500 the whole time this late in the season since I've been here. Um, so from from a 50th st senior standpoint, you know, this is absolutely massive. Um, uh, it's it's you know it's what we've been working towards all year. Um, in terms of confidence, you know, that just solidifies in our mind now that you know we're, we're a team team to compete with in this conference and um you know we're we've been saying since day one we're here to do something where you know our goal is to make the tournament and you know that's what we're striving for and you know this game was huge for us in terms of reaching that goal what do you think has been the biggest difference from last year when you guys were struggling at this point in the season to now as successful as you've been so far in the conference um that's, that's a good question you know i think uh I think we've had a couple games this year go our way. Uh, we've had, you know, a lot. You know, the USC game went our way, which you know was great that it did. And, um, may may ha may not have last year. And uh, you know, when you have so many close losses like we did last year, that can kind of um, have a snowball effect in terms of your, you know, on your, your confidence in a negative way. As much as you know, close wins like this one in the USC game can snowball your confidence in a positive way. So um, at this point in the season last year, I think. Um, the confidence was kind of going the opposite direction because of the losses we were suffering and how close they were, and um, it just didn't seem like anything was going our way. So, um, yeah. Does it give you guys more confidence when instead of having close losses, you can hold on to a close win against a good team like UCLA that's making a push on you at the end? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's um, that's something that we said we we're going to work on after the Cal game was closing out games, and um, I think we've we've been able to do that so far at home at least. Um, you know, close out games, although it was ugly there at the end, like Alice said. Um, we almost let it slip away. But, you know, once again, that's something we we're going to address in, in practice this week and, you know, make sure if we have a lead like that, we know how to handle it and um, won't let that happen again. And is this is kind of when this program is kind of building up to the past few years. So for you, would you last year be a part of it? Uh, what does it mean to you? Oh, man, it's huge, you know. Uh, I was, you know, hugging my teammates, hugging my coaches, you know. I was, I was just, uh, I'm over the moon, you know, this is a huge win. And like I said, since the time I've been here, we haven't been above 500. So, um, you know, this, it's just a stat, I'm a static, you know, I'm, I'm so happy for our, you know, the guys on my team, I'm happy for Hallis to play so well and in, in that game and he hit two huge free throws down the stretch, you know. You know, everyone contributed to this one, even the guys who didn't get in the game, they were, they were making it hard for us in practice and simulating exactly what these guys do to the T, you know. Um, so it was a completely team effort and, you know, to win a game like this as a team, um, you know, and be building up to this all week, uh, it's just, I'm, a, I'm ecstatic and, you know, couldn't, you couldn't wipe the smile off my face today. Eric, how physical was it for you down there? It was a tough game. I mean, this is what the second, um, second this team is second in the conference and, uh, you know, this is a good team and uh, it was a team effort and, um, you know, I couldn't have done it without these guys, and uh, you know, it's just you just got to play through it. The whole, the, the whole Pac-12 is going to be physical this whole year, and uh, it's going to be up and down. So, you know, you just got to play physical down there and do what you can. I mean, 
Yeah. This is a really good team, actually. So um, to get this kind of win is, is very big for our program, and uh, I'm happy for the guys as well. Eric, you guys were uh, up <coughs> or, excuse me, down five points with about eight minutes to go, and all of a sudden you're up seven. What kind of really sparked that run? You know, these guys, man, uh, you know, all week, we've been working all summer, all spring, everything. Like, we, since since I got here, we just wanted to be a good team, and we felt like we, we have been a good team. And, um, you know, it's, it's starting to show now, and, and, and it feels good to, to finally start showing. Um, you know, these guys have been putting in a lot of work, and, and uh, um, the, fact, the fact that it, 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 it turns out to be a good win, I mean, it turns out to – this guy's <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a hard time Sorry, from his guy, boy. This guy keeps giving me a hard times. But uh um Yeah, it was a good one. I'm sorry. Right, he's been he's been, he's been extremely during, during sorry during that stretch where it went from a five point deficit to a seven point. You know, uh, it was just about who wanted it more and uh I feel we we won this game yesterday in practice, you know. Uh coach challenged us as a team. And we just went out. We went out there and practiced yesterday. We were communicating. It was one of our best practices of the year, if not the best. So uh, I think we won it then. And just, just in that little stretch, you know, I felt we were better than them, and, and we just had to get it together <coughs> and be patient and run our plays and get the stops at the defensive end. And we were able to do that and we closed it up. So did you guys have a chance to talk to Kyle Anderson either before or after the game? Yeah, we we talked uh, before the game today, and we uh, we talked yesterday, and, and we uh, talked after, you know, after we won. Uh, he was like a uh, good game, and we had exchange words, and uh, he played a very good game. What's happened with your game? How else from the beginning of the season where it's at right now, and just how much confidence are you playing with right now? You know, my confidence grows more and more. You know, the the, the more I'm successful, the harder I work, and um, just every time I, I have a game like this, when I just try to keep building on it, you know, don't get comfortable, don't get complacent, and I just go out there and, and just do what I do. To see what he was able to do tonight, how does it make you guys maybe even more excited about the program where this is program's headed? Oh, I mean, it's it's exciting for me as a senior. Um, this is my last go around, so you know, I feel I feel great. Uh, you know, looking past this year, whatever happens uh, this year for the rest of the year. But you know, when I leave, um, it feels great that I know you know you, you got guys like Hallis who um, will be here and working as hard as he does, and you know, pushing this program forward uh, to better things. So um, as a senior, it's it's huge, and you know. Um, to answer your question about how it's, you know, he's in the gym every single day. And, you know, I said it after the last game, that three hit wasn't an accident. And those two free throws weren't an accident tonight because he's in the gym every single day. And, you know, he works his tail off. And, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a real credit to the work he's put in, um, to the performances he's putting out now. Eric, are you guys running on things to say about him being a freshman? I don't. I wouldn't consider him a freshman anymore. I mean, this guy's playing unbelievable, and uh, you know, I, I I saw it from the get go when, when they first got here. I mean, the recruitment keeps getting better, and uh, the program keeps getting more things, and you know, more recruits are gonna keep coming like this guy. And uh, you know, he's always in the gym, like Angus said, always. Him, Malcolm Shea, that they, they have a great freshman class, and you know, when you have when you have guys like that, you know, it, it shows why he's having these kind of games. When you guys kind of take the run with UCLA, they're trying to come back and. Definitely. That's this is the point guard here. I mean, this, this is our point guard now, and he has a very bright future. And uh, anything he has to say, I'm 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 an upperclassman, but uh, anything he has to say, I'm going to listen. And uh, I know he knows what he's talking about. Like he said, he's been on the big stage before, and uh, you know he puts in the work. So I, I have no reason not to listen to him. And he's the leader on his team. And um, as a freshman, that, that's, that speaks a lot. Where do, how do you guys build off this going back on the road? Uh, you know, we're just taking one game game at a time, as we've been saying all year. So uh, the next game is Arizona State, I believe. So we'll address them when we get back in the gym and, uh, this week in practice, and then when we head down there. Um, you know, we'll look to take care of them and then move on to the next one and hopefully take care of them too. So, uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to try and enjoy this one for a little bit, at least today. Oh man, I'm Australian. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about uh, leadership, particularly with you, Alice, in that backcourt with Roberto Nelson. How, how has he sort of helped the evolution of your game with the two of you in that backcourt? Yeah, he's been here five years, and he knows the offense inside and out. And, you know, he gives me little pointers all the time and he tells me what to run. And uh, 
you know, he, he just, you know, we're just there for each other. When, when one of us make a bad play, you know, we keep our heads up and we just keep out there and keep doing what we do. And uh, he's just, he's just been a very good mentor to me since I got here. You know, he took me under his wing and uh, it's, it's paying off. Thanks, guys.